The Art of Basketball came about with uh, Bill Fickett, my partner, Haley Fickett, and myself. Um, we really originally started uh, with the, the concept of playing with graffiti and street art and again creating this sort of landscape playground where we can get artists to come in and do projects with us and from that we can translate into various products. My partner Bill Fickett comes from an apparel background so that was sort of the initial conception of, of the project. The primary me media is, is playing with a sacred object. Uh, we're under license by the NBA to produce works of art, which um, by, by the way, it's a, it's its own category within the franchise. Uh, currently, we're playing with uh, the NBA professional backboard as a canvas, and uh, just more recently, we took ownership of the 2011 All-Star Court and uh, used that as a canvas. It's a piece of sacred history, too. 20, 24 of the top players of the, in the world, the NBA, played on this court. So it's memorabilia on steroids. At Public Works Department in Art of Basketball, our sweet spot is really the overlaying areas of sport, art, and music. I mean, if you could, you know, marry hip hop, basketball, art, and fashion, you know, that, that would be a home run. We see the Art of Basketball as a partnership with the NBA and an opportunity to brand various products, everything from high end fashion and art, wearable art, all the way through to toys. For us, it's all about basketball. It's um, although you know we are under license by the NBA, it's not about the NBA or the current players. It's all about the passion for the for the game, and we feel that there's a link uh, in heritage between basketball and graffiti, and uh, so we, we see that as a perfect fit. Uh, what we tell our artists, and and we, we give them a pretty broad spectrum in, in which to play. We we don't specifically give them assignments or paint that player or paint a specific object, but we we. we approach it from the passion of basketball.